Hi everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We are so happy you are here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. Today's big idea comes from motivational speaker and life coach Tony Robbins in his best-selling book, Money, Master the Game. The book is, in its essence, a roadmap to becoming financially independent much simpler and quicker than you ever realized possible. A crucial premise is that you don't have to be an expert investor or a financial advisor to master your fiscal plans for the future. Anyone can master money matters and create their dream lifestyle. All you need is some fundamental knowledge and a strong desire. The book has the subtitle, Seven Simple Steps to Financial Freedom. Let's walk you through the highlights of each step. Step one, save steadily. If you genuinely want to become financially independent, it is pivotal to make your money work for you, not vice versa. Saving money is the first step toward financial freedom, since those who start saving and investing early benefit heavily from compounding. What you save today delivers returns for your entire life. Putting away 10 to 15% of your income is recommended. And once this money reaches a critical mass, it will compound and produce returns until you die. If you find it hard to spare this much in your budget, you can start by committing just 3% for savings. But remember to grow the savings rate as your income increases over time. Step two, know the rules. Many people take advantage of an inexperienced or naive investor. So it is crucial that you arm yourself with sound reasoning and common sense before investing. Here are six pitfalls you should avoid. One, fees matter. Over extended periods, even small fees can snatch the majority of your earnings, so make sure to read the fine print before investing. Two, the promise of huge returns. If a financial partner advertises a return of about 6%, it will probably be closer to 3%. Three, putting all your faith and money in investment advisors. Remember that the actual job of these people is to sell you services and earn money for themselves. So use your common sense or turn to a fiduciary instead. Four, not managing your pension plan. Investigate the details of your pension plan and don't be afraid to make changes as appropriate. Five, risking it all. Successful investors don't gamble with their hard earned savings and neither should you. Six, selling yourself short. The biggest obstacle to your financial success is your limiting perceptions and beliefs. Step three, Make the game winnable. Ask yourself what you are hoping to achieve by investing in your future. To get where you want to be, you must know the price of your wish. Most dreamers have never figured out the cost of their dreams, so they cannot plan for them. And don't just guess or estimate these numbers, but really try to get an accurate price of what your ideal, comfortable future will cost you. Step four and five, allocate your assets. The most crucial investment decision you will make is where to put your money. In any case, it is essential that you diversify your portfolio. Tony offers a peek into the portfolio allocation of Ray Dalio, who is possibly the most significant investor in history. Critical factor in Ray's success is the all-weather strategy, which builds heavily on portfolio diversification. See, by diversifying your investments through a mix of bonds, stocks, gold, and other commodities, your total investment is protected even during challenging economic environments. Step six, invest like a billionaire. If you want inspiration for arranging your investments, look straight to the people at the top. The world's billionaires have clearly managed to master the art of investment. Many of them are pretty generous with their advice. Here are some general rules for investing like a billionaire. Don't lose. Billionaires are obsessed with making sure they don't lose money. Seek small investments that produce significant returns. Always wait for opportune times to invest. Make informed decisions with limited information. You can't know everything, so be ready to act even if you don't have all the facts. You're never done. The 0.001% are relentless in their pursuit of excellence. Step 7. Do it. Enjoy it. The last step to remember is that you must take action to boost your happiness. Success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. So remember to spend your money in a way that makes you happy. And there you have it. Money, Master the Game by Tony Robbins in a nutshell. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. 
Take care and see you soon.